Hi, I'm Dr. Weldon. You're welcome to Call Me Laura. I do adult autism and ADHD assessments. When we meet, this is where I'll typically be, sitting here at my desk, my bouncy chair, or just behind me on the day bed with my lap desk and my dog nearby. You'll see this same background behind me, my neurodiversity books and herbal medicine, neuropsychology and clinical medicine, and I hope that you're somewhere that you feel comfortable and at ease too. I know that it can help to know more about the person you're meeting with in advance, so I'd like to tell you a little bit more about myself. I self-identified as autistic in my mid-20s and was formally diagnosed at 28 years old. I sought formal diagnosis because I needed accommodations to attend lectures remotely in medical school. I know that many of you may also be seeking diagnosis because you need those formal letters in order to get the accommodations you need to succeed at work or at school. I want to be clear that I think self-identification is entirely valid. You know your own experience. But it may be that you're here because you've done all this research and you've pulled all these patterns together, but you'd like to have a conversation with someone to put those formal words to your experience so that you can feel confident and validated in what you know. Whatever your reason, I'm happy to support you. For ADHD assessments, we'll meet once. For autism assessments, we'll meet three times. There's nothing that you need to do to prepare. All I'm going to do is ask you questions from these official screeners. They're mostly yes or no, or a scale of zero to three. And we're gonna have a conversation about what life is like for you. I wanna know more than yes or no, or true or false. I wanna know how these things are impacting you and what difference they've made in your life. Afterwards, you'll get a letter and a full diagnostic report with all of the information should you need that for a formal uh, accommodation. I wanna invite you to make sure that you're somewhere that you feel comfortable when we meet. You're welcome to have a support person with you or a support creature, wear comfy clothes, drink water, take stretch breaks, move around. The most important thing is that you feel at ease during our conversation. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me, laura at adultautismassessment.com. I look forward to meeting you.